Hello the Hoovian Universe, this is the Hoovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video we are once again doing Minecraft communities as we so often are here on this humble channel of the gaming variety. And I had no idea where I was going with that but hey, let's just carry on shall we. So let's jump up here, there we go. Simple now and just slide down here. It's still fun, simple but effective and fun. It's my motto around here, simple but effective and fun. Except for that clock tower. That wasn't fun to build, well it was, it was very fun to build. That wasn't simple to build and it's effective though and it was fun but it wasn't simple. So I suppose I sort of mucked up in the clock tower and I just sort of walked in there for some reason and didn't bother feeding any of them. I know dogs. You've got to remind me next time. Oh you're running low on food I see. Okay, so this is for you, Lelo. This is for you, Rosie. There we go. This is for you, Loyalty. Oh, you've got three left. Look at you. Uh, then this is for you, Gracie. So there you go. And which dog should I take with me today? Let's take... Um... I don't know. Let's take Lello. So we took Gracie for the clock tower, I think. So yeah, let's take you, Lello. And uh, shut the door behind us so no one invades. And yeah, let's run all the way over here. So today we are building um, the automatic farm thing I've been talking about for quite a while. Um, and we're building it just behind the clock tower. Uh, I don't think I've really made any changes to the clock tower, we're building it here. Uh, I don't think I've really made any... <gasps> it's done wrong! I do need to make a change, but that's just because it's done wrong already. It's not a change that I've made in between the video. Well, it might have been. It might have been fine in the video, and then I accidentally mucked it up somehow. But yeah, that down here, nothing's really changed down here, I don't believe. Uh, and then up here... Um, is going to be whenever we reach the red bit. It takes a while to get up here, but it's still better than climbing a ladder, I find, because then, like, I don't know, it just seems more fun, even though it's probably because it's a bit of a newer way. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything's really changed up here. You can still see all the way up to the top and stuff. I was gonna, like, block it off, but then I thought that this looks way too cool. Like with this pattern coming out of it and stuff and I, w I am thinking of replicating it on this side as well and I thought that it was cool to have like all the clock faces uh, visible as well and the best thing about going up here is of course the way down and you might be thinking well Will look at how high you are there's no way you can survive that but to that I say aha I have built a mini swimming pool down here that I showed you in the last video and there we go. That's actually one of the most fun jumpy off things in this world currently including the one on my balcony. But today we are building here. So uh, as you can see we're doing some redstone uh, but we probably won't get that done in this video. That will probably be a thing for the next video. So. Uh, it's 26 I think uh, yes yeah, 26 long so one two three four I actually don't even know I'm counting <coughs> because I have yet again marked it out using my ingenious uh, blue flower things technique uh, it just makes it a whole lot easier for the video and then I don't know how long it is so I'm just gonna do it in a really weird way and yes, I do realise I'm doing this in a, the most stupid way possible, but I didn't really think it through uh, because I ran out of flowers. So yeah, I've only ever got three flowers and I probably should fix that because I just reuse the same flowers from older builds rather than getting new ones. Uh, and oh, we're going to have to get rid of some of this. Ah, we're underneath. Well, uh, <laughs> um... So, oh wow, it's going to go right up against here then, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. 
so let's just uh, build this along here and we might need way more red wool than I was expecting but what it's going to be is so this is just sort of going to be the uh, sort of surface area of it I suppose this is how big it's going to be and I might light up down here as well uh, just to prevent anything, any bad things spawning down there um, so yeah it's going to be like um, so the top floor inside the roof there's going to be a redstone mechanism for pumpkins and then underneath the ground there's going to be a, a redstone mechanism for eggs and uh, sugar cane so this is going to be like a pumpkin pie mass production area and then up here we're going to have little pens um, for like cows and sheep and whatnot to get their wool and milk and stuff um, we probably won't be killing any in here because that's not well it is a farm but it's a lot trickier to do that I can just go around killing random wild ones but then there's going to be a little back area here where there'll be a minecart coming up with all this stuff and then there'll be a hole in the wall where you grab the minecart through so yeah it's going to be a little bit complicated uh, but I'm sure we de definitely can get most of it done in a video um, so first off we need to find the middle and there's a two block middle um, is that right? Uh, that is not, but uh, I think if I go like this, then it is. These are four middle blocks. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then over on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, what? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So this is definitely one, two, three, four, yeah. How have I done this wrong? How long should it be then? So it should be 16. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh! That's why I've done it wrong again. <laughs> I keep getting these wrong recently. I did it with the clock tower base as well. Where I end up marking them out wrong. And do I have any shears on me? I don't. But I do have enough iron to make one. Uh, because we need all this iron uh, for all the hoppers. To collect all the eggs and stuff up. Uh, well, mainly be for pumpkins actually. But we still need them all. So let me just go and gather all of this uh, wool up. And then this can be reused to replace this. So yeah, like it's a really simple build to do, but like it's really complicated with like how I'm going to fit everything in there because everything fits in the roof perfectly. Like there's like maybe one block on each side for leeway. And so yeah, this took quite a while to plan out, but I think it will be definitely worth it. And I do have some dirt to quickly clog this hole back up. Uh, just like so so now this will actually be 16 so now I just need to replace this and remove this and this will be the middle four blocks I believe one two three four five and one two three four five yep then obviously there's the outside uh, blocks as well but we don't really need those right now uh, but what we do need to do is we need to grab the white wool so I'm going for a very traditional barn design here um, with like sort of red and white uh, designs for it and I'm building out of wool and not concrete because I've built so much out of concrete like the amount of concrete that I've gathered up for like this over there uh, the uh, Taste of Cakey Bakery, that especially, the inside of the movie theatre. Yeah, like, I've gathered up an awful lot of concrete. So I've decided to sort of go back to sort of a similar design to, like, this colourful castle, I don't think could have worked in concrete because I like having this texture. It just makes it feel like... It makes it feel like a toy, more so. And I like having that in a castle. And I think it'll work for this as well because it's sort of like a toy barn. So, yeah, hopefully... It's going to look quite good. It's not like... I will say straight off. It's not my favourite build I've ever built this barn. 
but I think that it sort of when I've got other sorts of things like this in here it'll fit in awfully well so yeah it's going to be pretty good so let's just go and double up <coughs> these layers here and then I can just uh, go along like this don't have any more red wool on me but we do on the chest so I'm just going to double it up for now I'm not going to bother about making it as full height because full height is four I think but it's going to take uh, quite a lot of red wool to do that and quite a lot of time as well uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video uh, while I quickly destroy uh, this floor here uh, because I need to add um, the birch uh, floor to it so yeah I will speed up the video until it is all uh, placed down and destroyed and placed down even so yeah I'll see you in just one minute okay then so as you have seen I have now uh, successfully <coughs> um, done this but however I did run out of birch I will admit I didn't get anywhere near enough because I wasn't expecting it to take up this much uh, I think I was a little bit optimistic uh, but what I can do is just get rid of some of these and are there any animals? there are not any animals there's obviously uh, Lello here but I, it's not the type of animal I'm looking for um, what I can do quickly is I can just run over to the forest over there and hopefully some of the birch trees that are replanted should have grown by now because we only need like sort of one tree's worth of wood maybe there's another dog there I'm not after you dog normally I'd be like yay dog but for once I'm not actually after a dog for once I'm after like cows and stuff but it should be fine for now uh, some, uh, yeah this tree was definitely one that I chopped down uh, so yeah this has definitely grown back um, but a lot of the birch trees I got from over in that forest there but some of them I got from here because there weren't many left here there was only like one and that was that one because some of them someone and it might have been me actually if uh, has gone and stolen a bunch of leaves from a whole load of them and I think that may have actually been me that stole the leaves but hey that's the way things go <laughs> um, uh, I can't remember what I would have needed leaves for but like I remember getting a whole lot of leaves so it probably was me um, but let's just go and put this there and we probably yeah we definitely won't be doing the redstone in this video which is either going to be amazing for you or terrible for you depending on whether you love redstone or hate redstone and for some of you it might be that you love redstone but you hate seeing me do it because I keep butchering it so much um, but let me just go and refill this down here um, there we go and now what we can do is go one two three four and perfect amount may I add uh, and do we have any white on us yes we do so let's just go and finish off this here so the way this is gonna go is just gonna be a simple um, thing like that and my shovel's nearly broken as well actually I should probably sort that out uh, it's gonna be as simple as doing a thing like this and then like this across um, oh no I destroyed the wrong one um, so I need to destroy this and this there we go and then we just need to build up the um, red wall uh, just around the outside and I I'm, the way that I'm going to build this is I'm going to build it in like two sections because I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it uh, now that I'm thinking about it but I'm not 100% sure to be honest uh, but I reckon uh, it should be just fine uh, so let's just go and add the final two layers down here um, then I'll add the I'll go and get a whole lot of my birch and I'll add the floor uh, or the ceiling I mean 
Um, and then on top of that ceiling, we'll add um, the redstone. We'll do that in the next video, definitely. And then we will add the big white roof over the top of that redstone. So yeah, it should be pretty good. Uh, so for now, let's just uh, go along here. We will definitely have enough. Yeah, we've got three stacks. I way overdid it on the red wall and I way underdid it on the birch. Um, so yeah, I'll just try and uh, get some more birch uh, by the end of the, uh, by the start of the next episode even. And uh, yeah, it should be jolly good. And I'll probably end up making a new shovel in the next episode because this one is really on its last legs now, if you see it. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty good. And one of the reasons why <coughs> uh, we're building this is because I realized that potatoes aren't necessarily the greatest source of food. Uh, I sort of went from having golden carrots uh, to realizing that's way too expensive to having potatoes, which are way easier to gather, but like they're nowhere near good. They're nowhere near as good. Um, so I think, so what I'm going to go for is I was looking up what sort of foods do the sort of same thing and there was meat and stuff. Then I thought that's a bit obvious. Uh, maybe we should do something a little bit different. And then I came across pumpkin pie and I was like, that's good. Can I make an automatic farm out of that? And then I was like, yes, I can. So yeah, this is essentially going to be a pumpkin pie farm, but we can also make other stuff like cakes, obviously. Uh, because we'll have sugar cane and eggs and wheat and stuff. So yeah, it should be pretty good. Uh, but for now, uh, I'll end this video here. So I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be online next week. And uh, thank you for watching. It will be linked in the description below. Goodbye.